The saga surrounding Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal exit took a terrible toll on the late Queen, it has been claimed. Royal expert Rebecca English said that while Elizabeth II was understanding of the Sussexes wanting a new life, at times she was left feeling very low indeed by the way the drama unfolded. It comes as Harry and Meghan, who quit the monarchy in 2020 and moved to the US, have made a further raft of allegations against the royals in their bombshell Netflix series. Writing in the Daily Mail, Ms. English said, in truth, she was actually very sympathetic to his and Meghan's desire to seek an alternative life, if that's what would make them happy. But the way in which the saga played out so acrimoniously was recently described to me as having taken a terrible toll on the Queen's well-being in recent years, leaving her feeling very low indeed at times. Harry and Meghan make a number of fresh claims about the royal family in their Netflix documentary, with the final three episodes of the six-part series dropping yesterday. The Duke recounted the summit at Sandringham hosted by the late monarch with his father and older brother in January 2020 in a bid to solve the Megxit crisis. He claimed Prince William erupted at him while he accused Charles, who was now king, of saying things that were not true. Harry said, It was terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me and my father say things that just simply weren't true. And my grandmother, you know, quietly sit there and take it all in. But you have to understand that. From the family's perspective, especially from hers, there are ways of doing things and her ultimate, sort of, mission, goal slash responsibility is the institution. Harry said he was given five options, ranging from all in, no change to all out, and he chose option three, half in, half out. He added, it became very clear, very quickly that that goal was not up for discussion or debate. The Duke also claimed the timing of the meeting was deliberately arranged so his wife could not attend. And in a further claim, Harry said Kensington Palace lied to protect my brother when it issued a joint statement in both their names the same day without his permission denying a story that William had bullied him out of the royal family. He said, once I got in the car after the meeting, I was told about a joint statement that had been put out in my name and my brother's name, squashing the story about him bullying us out of the family. I couldn't believe it. No one had asked me. No one had asked me permission to put my name to a statement like that. I rang him and I told her and she burst into floods of tears because within four hours they were happy to lie to protect my brother, and yet for three years they were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. So there was no other option at this point. I said, we need to get out of here. Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace have declined to comment on the Sussex's Netflix show, 